Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I planned to make a nice video about attacking some bases, same as I did it last time and last time I perfectly showed you how not to do it. So I talked with my Alliance members and we said, okay, today we make sure that we do it as good as possible and um, we'll make the opposite of the video from last time saying, hey, this is how you should do it. So now two things happened. First thing, um, we did send the fleets there directly. We didn't teleport there. And unfortunately, I had some real life issues. So I had to do some stuff and I was not there when the attack happened. That's bad. So yeah, no video about attacking that base. Um, I had all my fleets there. I will show you also the preparation and everything. I had my fleets there and um, my alliance members were really nice. They left me a little bit of resources in the base so that I could get them. And from there on things developed very, very differently and absolutely not as I planned it. So I'll try to cut the video as good as possible, but um, Please bear with me if it's not as perfect and we sometimes have some strange jumps inside there um, because as I said, it, it went completely another way than expected and I was not prepared to this. I was not recording everything all the time. So um, yeah, I will just um, turn over to the original planned video and um, let you experience it and hope you will enjoy it and have fun with it. Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today after the feedback I got from the last PvP video um, I going to join some of this action and um, for this I do prepare my fleets first. As you will see I will use the Prometheus and also um, the Hercules. The reason for this is they are already leveled up and therefore I can put more ships inside. Um, if I would have leveled up more PvP ships, I for sure would use these PvP ships. Um, but my main fleet is um, the Prontus. So as you can see, I go full cruiser with the Prontus T9. I just fill it up with T8 because don't have enough T9 built yet. Um, second fleet going in will be the Prometheus. Also full cruiser setup. We do have tier 10 and tier 8 there. Um, third fleet then is going to be the Hercules, which will just bring... Why do I have more T9 cruisers here? We should use these for sure here. Um, Last fleet then that can do damage will be the Hercules fleet. I do use again as many cruisers as possible just to reduce my losses. But as you can see, I'm already getting to the point where I cannot bring more cruisers inside. So now here I'm going to use T7 and T8 destroyers to mainly start increasing my load capacity. And that is then also where the force fleet is coming in. You see, I use a Jason there because a Jason for me got the highest transportation boost. And I do fill it up with T10, T8 destroyers. And now I'm not going to use T4 cruisers. I'm going to fill up all the rest with um, T2 destroyers to get a very high um, load again and um, yeah after this there's not much I can put in um, I don't really have enough ships so I just fill it up with the highest tier ships that I have to get the load as high as possible and um, for this case we are not going to teleport there it is only 20 minutes away a few targets so um, the plan is to just send the fleet there farm these and um, save some energy and corium for other events. Okay, that one was an interesting one. Um, while we were farming the, the base here in control, 
I did miss most of it, but um, now we got attacked by by another alliance, or at least I got attacked. I had to use my main fleet to at least um, get my resources home. I just had one fleet with the resources. And um, yeah, as you see, they used three fleets versus my one fleet. Um, luckily, you don't have losses there, but I didn't want to lose the resources on the main fleet. Um, oh yeah, they also did attack. Oh, they, they got my my transportation fleets. So I think that's interesting. Um, let's see how we react on that. Okay, so that was a very interesting thing. Um, I did miss the attack on the base that had no alliance tag and that we just hit for some resources kills during the kill event. But um, when I came back and um, my alliance members left over a little bit of resources for me, so I just went in with one fleet and then on the way back I got attacked by another alliance. So. Um, yeah, as you can imagine, uh, either, first, I was not prepared for that. Second, um, yeah, I was alone then there. I did try with the first attack to get some of the resources they left over. As you can see, it was not really much. Um, so it's not like that I um, had a lot to gain there. But um, I then immediately got some red lines towards my fleet and um, I tried to protect that fleet even if it's only a little bit of resources. I didn't want to get it lost so I attacked it but um, there were multiple players joining this attack and one, two, three, three players. Um, so at the end I lost. It was a good fleet, it was my main fleet so I even managed to um, give them higher repairs than I had, but then they came after the already damaged fleet and also after my other fleets, including the fleet with um, with uh, transportation. So um, I didn't really stand a chance there. They hunted me down. I won one of the attacks, but even if you win one, you do some lo losses. And um, then they just come in with another fleet to take um, the, out the remaining ones. You saw how I did set up my fleet, so all of them were set up with cruisers. I was very slow. Um, there were some fleets coming in with Artemis and then it's just easy. They can catch me up whenever they want. And yeah, that would all be fun um, because it's just space fights. The problem is they attacked all four fleets. Um, so now it happened what um, I already mentioned in some of the other videos. As this happened very quickly, my um, repair bay got full. So I do have um, all my ships in the repair bay and um, all the fights that happen at the end, let's go back to the mails, um, as you can see um, I didn't have enough capacity in the repair center. So I did lose these um, ships that should have been repaired. So, but it's a total of um, about 8,500. So if we now take a look at the last battle, the last two battle, um, this was with the Prometheus. So what I lost were um, tier eight cruisers for 1,300. And then in the second battle, I did lose another 3,800 tier 8 and 360 tier 10 cruisers. And um, that's the important thing. If you go out with a lot of fleets and you see something like this happen, you should not do it like I just did it and focus on the fight. If you see that this happens, go quickly to your base and um, do some repairs. I do have a little bit of a problem right now with the resources. So I need to get um, these ships out and a huge problem if you do this and have like tier two ships inside there, they will clock up your um, repair. So you get like here 5,500 leadership inside your repair base and um, 
if I wouldn't have the tier 2, I would have been able to save some of the tier 8, um, yeah, nearly 70% or something like this. So always keep this in mind. Um, if you expect to get attacked like this, for me this was completely unexpected. Um, I thought we are even um, in a friendly relationship with Ark, but um, yeah, so if you can assume that something like this will happen, make sure that you do not have more fleets outside there than you can cover in the repair bay, or go back quickly during these fights, um, do some repairs with speed ups to get space again inside your repair bay so that you don't lose your high tier ships.